here's something that's kind of fun. I always start with the first layer on all of the things that I paint so that I can be sure that it covers when I do the final coat. This is how I do human faces. The expression on a face starts with six different characteristics that catch the light on a face that I've identified. So watch, I'm going to show you how I do this real fast and you can count them and, and watch these these separate parts of the face. I'll start from the forehead down and I'll just highlight these certain areas just like I did on this face up here. Let's see if I can get my hand on there. I feel like the weatherman. This face right here uh, is, is one I've already done. I'm going to do another one next to that boy just like it on this girl. Okay, I start with the base layer, base color. So I'm going to get I'm going to get a color that I feel is a good shadow color for skin tone. And even if it's not just dry, if it's, it's not going to matter for this purpose. Okay. Go like this. Now I've got to keep this wet. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. It's a good technique. I could leave this face just like it is. If it was if it was just a little face in a picture that's off in the distance, I would just I would just do that, and you could paint a lot of faces like in a group of people with this technique. But I'm going to do another layer with detail since these faces are in the foreground, and I want to make them detail. Well, watch this, okay? Forehead. Okay, I do the forehead right across. Next, it's going to be nose. Coming down. Okay. Like this. We'll make the little nostril as part of the nose. Okay, so now what I have is forehead and nose, which brings out the eye socket. So then I make a line coming down towards the nostril. That's going to be my cheek. Right there. Next, I'm going to have a line here that creates the upper lip. I'm going to make it go straight across. If I make these lines going across enough, it looks like a smile. Next, I'm going to use some of this paint, bottom lip. This. See, and this gives me a starting point to do the details on this face. Let's do the other cheek over here, too. Next, chin. Just like that. I'm going to have to shrink that chin a little bit so this looks girly. Okay, then I'll just softly blend the edges of these areas. Notice that the brush I'm using is pretty big because I don't need to do small details. This kind of expression is not about small details. Very quick method of getting the basics of a face down. Then I'll just kind of drag the brush across to blend it a little bit. Just like that, see? So I've got forehead, Nose, cheek, upper lip, bottom lip, chin. Those are the six things. Now, of course, there's a lot of different aspects of those that can be changed in order to modify the expression. But those are the six things that begin to create the expression on a face. That's why when you look at a little tiny photograph of somebody, you can see a lot of times the expression of their face in a more basic form. There are tiny nuances in the details that, that I obviously don't, don't do with this technique. Like this. See if I make that cheek nice and round up by the eye it looks more like a smile. Come down here. Bring it under. That's the end of the cheek. Now the chin. And I'm going to shrink that chin. Like 
Da. Under the chin. So this will be her neck coming down. Hair always makes a little bit of a shadow on top of the head. So wherever I'm going to put the hair, I'm going to put shadow ahead of time. See, that's it. That's the basics. That cheekbone. See, now I'm just doing more of the same thing, just brighter colors. The nose, bottom lip, upper lip. And chin. Just like that. That's how you do it. I said six things. Let's make that seven because I forgot about one thing. And that's this eyelid right here. When you, when you take a face, hopefully you can see this. Okay, I've got her cheek right here. This is without that little eyelid. Now if I want her to look like... Getting caught up with these details. If I want her to look like she's smiling, I gotta put that little eyelid in there. Watch. Okay, take this. Make that right here. Same thing on the other side. Maybe it's not as big of a deal as I made it up, but it, it makes that. See, when I smile, I have this eyelids right there, you know.